for my Avatar The Last Airbender series, we're going to be doing for this video an image of the animals from Avatar The Last Airbender. I have recently just watched this, rewatched the series itself. I did an image of the gang in my own style on my Instagram. It looks bad, but it's on my Instagram. And so today we're going to be doing a watercoloring of the animals from the show. They were just so cute. So we're going to do a watercolor drawing of the The one that I'm sketching now in a light blue colored pencil is Tui and La. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but they're the two fish from the Northern Water Tribe. I'm going to insert a photo here and hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted. So this is the first fish that I'm completing here. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward until I finish the second fish since the process is almost exactly the same except for the tail. Here's the other fish and now we're going to move on to the otter penguin which I'll be having the most trouble at drawing. I'm going to pull some images from Google right here to show you what they look like. I'm going to spend a lot more time on detailing the face and the head, so I'm just going to skip forward to see the completion of this sketch. Here with a green colored pencil, I'm going to start sketching the badger mole from the Earth Kingdom. Here are some photos of the badger mole that I pulled from Google. I'm going to speed this process up so this video is not two hours long. Next, we're going to do the ostrich horse from the Earth Kingdom, which is the creature that Zuko was seeing riding on. Here's a image from Google for reference. This is Appa the Air Bison, but you're not going to really see him because the camera angle is weird, so I'm just going to quickly go through this and move on. So we are getting started on doing Mobo in, in orange. He is actually considered one of the most mentally stable characters of the entire show, which I find hilarious because he's insane. He's crazy. He's fun. Momo's awesome. So now we're moving on to Fire Nation animals. This one is the turtle duck, which was seen in Zuko's childhood. I loved this animal. This was my favorite animal of the entire show. He, it's absolutely adorable. Our last animal is going to be the dragon, also from the Fire Nation. This probably took me the longest time to draw, so this is like ultra time lapsed. So now to the cool part, we're going to actually start the watercoloring process. What you see happening on screen now is I'm outlining it with a water based marker and then I'm kind of like smearing it into because it's white fish, but I don't want to paint it white. So kind of give it that whitish look by giving it little shadows by pulling in from those outlines. And then of course I'm going to go in with watercolor to paint the black dot on his head. I'm going to do this, the same process for this other fish and I'm just going to increase the speed of this. I probably had the hardest time painting the water penguin. I mean the otter penguin, just because it's so hard to do values in, in the penguin itself is black. So I kind of followed the same outlining process and here I am just trying to make it work. I'm 
I finally just settled on the otter penguin and I ran away and so I'm like that's it so I moved on to the badger mole following the same process of outlining in a water-based marker and then going in with watercolor itself. This is the ostrich horse that we're moving on to. Same process, outlining in a water-based marker with the correct colors and then filling it in with watercolor. If you're noticing the little auras of like blue and green, that was done in a water-based marker and then smeared out with a water and a brush. And that kind of gives that little like glowing aura. I wanted to do it so it separates each element in each kingdom. So I think the fire dragon actually took the most work out of all of these animals. And basically I just had to start with layering this like soft layer of red very very lightly almost um, transparent so I could layer on the other depths of it. So I smeared out the little glowing background thing off camera but this is me going into the fire dragon with the second layer I picked up some acrylic to outline it to make it pop more and this is a real quick of how the auras were made. And I always like how these tubes open with the top and you stab it in to break the foil and then it's on the cap so you know what color it is. Anyways, moving on. So Momo kind of started off badly, I messed up on his ear and then I did not have the detail brush for his face. So we ended up kind of looking like a glob, but I would come back and I will fix him later. But we just have to wait for this all to dry. And now we're moving on to Oppa, which actually is very successful. Painting Oppa was fun and I didn't mess up and it just, he came out really nice. Oppa is actually my second favorite character right after the turtle duck. And I think he's just so adorable and the plushies of him, I'm mean, like, oh my gosh, I, I want one, but they're like expensive and I'm broke, so. And yeah, this concludes our Atla Animal watercolor. If you like this, please consider subscribing to at Void of Things, and you can also find me on Instagram at Void of Things. Also, quick thank you for JJen for providing the music for this video.